a friend of mine was cleaning the pictures in his house and he suddenly uh, the chair misbalanced and he just fell down so i have uh, seen my friend who has injured his right hand right forearm and as i can uh, imagine it is a closed fracture actually there are two type of fracture one is open and one is closed if the mu if the muscle tears out that is called open fracture but here the condition is not that much uh, bad he has a closed fracture just uh, the bone is fractured and it you know, fracture means a broke or a no, it is a broken bone is called a fracture so for for a closed fracture the first aid is first of all uh, you put a ppe kit in which uh, includes gloves first we will do a gloves check the environment if the environment is good it is quiet pretty safe and then we put our pp kit and if the condition is uh, more severe we just make a call to the at an emergency number which is 112 like we i just made a call for help and uh, yeah they will be coming soon so after that we just need to uh, not take a gauze or a elastic bandage today we are using elastic gauze so first of all what we need to do is we have to just tell our friend to keep his hand straight and hold this in his hand so to make it stable after that what we do is we just take the gauze from your take ground we have to cover the whole hand properly with the gauze like only the forearm not you have to not go above the elbow like it should not be that tight that the patient is uncomfortable you have to always take care of your patient's comfort because that's a, that's the first priority so our first motive is to stabilize the hand so first we will use a stabilizer here first we have to put the bandaid and then we have to use the stabilizer and just cover it with the bandaid again to make it fix like you have to like it should not fall off actually the motive is that the, the stabilizer should not fall off from the hand so we have to just take some rounds of the gauze from here and uh, just make sure that you are not holding the patient's hand very tightly it may hurt the bone or the muscles inside so be careful with it it's not that uh, harsh you should not it should not be that harsh it is very complicated process so you should be very gentle as we have put the stabilizer here and you have to just fix the gauze at last but not the least you have to just um, take a gauze or a, a roll of bandage and just make sure that the patient uh, does not have to consciously take his hand upside like he should rest his hand so the patient should rest his hand on the basis on the tension of this one like the whole hand is on based on this string the string so you have to just uh, make a string here take a round from the back and just uh, it it should hold the hand properly it should be gentle and soft for the patient the patient should be comfortable that's it at last thank you